just when you thought things couldn't get crazy, they did. Oh my god. This story, you know, I was just browsing on my Facebook looking at some Daily Mail stories. Looking at some bad ones and some good ones. But this one sticks out like a sore thumb. This one pretty much proves why the justice system is so bad. But without further ado, let's get right into the story. So, it reads... Prominent surgeon who hit a cop with her legally parked car when she tried to flee parking ticket dispute wins $1.2 million in a lawsuit after claiming officers used excessive force. Okay, so you're thinking, right, officers used excessive force, filed a lawsuit, not her fault, rightly won money. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, when you listen to this story, you're going to realise why I made this video, but let's get right into it. So, Rachel Wellner, 43, initially filed a 30 million suit against the city claiming her civil rights were violated when an officer allegedly pushed her and grabbed her. When she said, when they say pushed her and grabbed her, I'm, I'm presuming it means they basically arrested her. I'm presuming that because that is almost the description I mean not really the description I don't think they would push if I actually scratched that yeah they would that's not the point the point is that this right here is not true at all and let me explain why so it goes on and it says according to a police report she told the officers I'm a doctor I have patients that are dying I'm the hero the cops are not I have to go whoa I mean she's flexing on her job you know what I'm saying Yo, she flexing right now. Oh, I'm a doctor, therefore, I'm excused. I can get away with you just about anything, because I'm a doctor, but okay. It goes on and it says, however, in her suit, Walner claimed the officers have been physically and verbally abusive for her. No, I think the Daily Mail means to her. I mean, who's, who wrote this? Bad grammar, mate. Bad grammar. So she decided to flee the scene. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is a lie. This is a clear lie. Don't think that's what would happen. In fact, no, it didn't happen. It did not happen. And in the story, you'll find out why. So, it says, at Friday's trial, Officer... What's his name? Vega. I don't... I'm just gonna call him Vega. I made that during that he had come into physical contact with Wilder, but denied using excessive force. Okay. Fair enough. Right. So, the jury of six women... And four men voted unanimously in favour of Wellner, but she was awarded far less money than what she initially requested. So, just in case you want to know what she looks like, there's a picture of her, and it will be on the screen right now. I think you can see her anyway, but that's what she looks like. A once prominent New York City surgeon who told the police, I'm the hero, the cops are not, during a parking dispute. In 2016, one of 1.2 million lawsuit, blah blah blah, we already know that. And we already know this part of the story, so I'll skip it. Okay, this is where shit hits the fan. This is where you really start realising how much of a farce this lawsuit actually was. So it goes on and it says, Walner had illegally parked her Volvo over a crosswalk, crosswalk to dash into a store in February of 2016, when she returned, she saw police issuing her a parking ticket and reportedly became confrontational. Okay, there it is. There it is. That's where you know that this is bullshit. Because she came out, saw a police officer giving her a parking ticket because she parked illegally, and apparently she became confrontational. Which means her idea, her story about how she was scared for her life and decided to flee the scene was bullshit <laughs> clear bullshit but okay so the quote is there yeah it says I'm a doctor I have patients that are dying I'm the hero the cops are not don't accept the summons I have to go blah 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 so it then goes like this the Ivy League educated doctor then attempted to flee the scene but struck one of the officer's legs with her car <laughs> yeah you heard that right you heard it right so she runs over a cop and then she was placed in handcuffs and later escorted to the police station where she pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct. So she pled guilty to running over a cop, yet sued the cop over claims that he grabbed her, pushed her. Really? You ran over a cop with a car. 
and yet you're the one that's filing the lawsuit. Yeah, this bitch is tripping big time. However, shortly afterwards she filed the lawsuit against the NYPD claiming that the officers had been both verbally and physically abused to her in the suit while they fled the scene. Well, she said she fled the scene because she feared for her life. <coughs> I am done. I am done. No, you didn't. No, you... No. No, no, no. No, you didn't. She claimed that she was fearing for her life and that's why she fled the scene. No. The reason why you fled the scene is because you didn't want to pay the ticket. And in doing so, you ran over a cop. Well, claims she feared for her life. That's bullshit, man. Absolute, that is ridiculous. I mean, who voted in favour of this woman? Seriously? No, I, I can't. I can't deal. The officer Vega admitted that he came to physical contact with Wilder but denied using excessive force. I believe this dude now, 100%. So obviously the jury of six women and four men voted in favour of Wellner as we all know. Here's where you start sensing bullshit, like even people who haven't sensed it already, this is where you really start censoring it. You start to pick up on it. It says, it's not immediately clear how the jury determined that Vega had used excessive force. So no one knew how they came to that conclusion. Wellner's lawyer, John Norinsberg? whatever his name is, I don't even know. He says, we're just happy that they were able to see the through the lies and deception of the police and were able to get the truth of the matter. Bull shit right there. No, no, see through the lies. No, 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 your client is the one lying. She's a liar, runs over a police officer because she didn't want to pay the, pay the ticket, pled guilty to doing that, then had the audacity to file a $30 million lawsuit against the city because apparently she was physically assaulted no that's not true at all I cannot believe this story man oh, oh my god this is where in fact though before I go there but you know you know what here's what I might do I might book a ticket to America next week buy a car run over the nearest police officer I can find then cry harassment and then I'll have 1.2 million dollars in my account. I mean, that is a brilliant idea. You know what? That is not a bad idea. But here is where you. St this is where shit gets real. I mean, we're not done here. You thought we were done? Oh no, it gets worse. A lot worse. So, after that incident with the police officer, Walner was fired from her job at some centre in the Bronx after her arrest. So, what do you think she goes and does? What do you think she goes and does as a response? Yep, she tries to sue her employers. I'm gone again. I, this woman is something else. So, just for even having the audacity to fire her on the grounds that she ran over a cop or because she didn't want to pay a ticket, therefore she now decides to sue her employers. Can't be bothered. I cannot be bothered. Following her dismissal, she also filed a lawsuit against the Bronx-based hospital claiming they manufactured a false pretextual reason to terminate her employment. Hold up a minute. You better hold that sauce because man don't like ketchup. You mean to tell me that she sued her former employers because they manufactured a false pretextual reason to terminate her employment? No. 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 The reason why they fired her is because she's a psychotic bitch. I mean, it's true. The real reason she claims in the suit is that she suffered from Lyme disease flare-up that required her to take time off work, irking her employers. Okay, maybe she did. Maybe she didn't have that condition. Am I buying it though? Not really. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not buying it. This woman is a liar. I'm pretty so sure a surgeon earns in excess of 100k a year, alright? Do you think one measly ticket even matters to her? She could have just paid the ticket and be on her way, but no. No. She's doing the most. She had to go the extra mile. And that the lawsuit, seek it, the lawsuit she is seeking is still pending. I don't even know, man. I seriously don't even understand. The justice system is a joke. I mean, it was more of a he said, she said. But they decided to play it into her favour. Don't know why. Because she's a liar. I mean... She ran over a cop, cried harassment, even though she pled guilty to running over a cop. 
then sues the city for $1.2 million, even though she ran over a cop and pled guilty. Then her employment that she was employed to fires her. And then she sues her former employers. I mean, I don't even know. Do you know what? I'm done with this video. Oh my good lord.